Designed and manufactured in-house, the Seiko Epson Corporation's high-precision industrial robots provide our customers with optimum user-friendliness, speed and quality. A robot simulator is standard in modern robot software. Epson automatically provides the license-free RC Plus programming environment and helps users in all phases of their automation project. During the design phase, different robot models and layouts can be tested. During the integration phase, the Epson Simulator program will support you in the validation of programs. In the operating phase, necessary modifications can be tested without risk, before they are implemented quickly and efficiently in production. The Epson Simulator thus increases planning certainty and cost savings in each phase of a project. Be assured how simple and effective it is to use the Epson Robot Simulator. All Epson robots can be customized with the readable and intuitive high-level program language SPEL+. You can also watch our film on Epson RC+. More information is available in the manual and by pressing F1. Here you will also find detailed explanations and useful tips about the simulator. This film shows examples of an application for automatically separating, extracting, testing and palletizing of parts delivered from a feeder. As core components we use a six-axis robot with a gripper, a feeder and two pallets. The Epson software simulation is based on a virtual controller that behaves one-to-one -one like a real controller. First we set up a new connection to a virtual controller. We assign a name for this virtual controller and make the connection. Now we are online and over 300 different Epson robot models are available for simulations. Now we can open the simulation environment. Next we choose a six-axis robot with the menu item Setup Controller. Under Robots Model in the drop-down menu we find the S5-A901S. This six axis appears to be suitable because with more than 900 mm arm length, it offers some reserves in its range. The tool or the gripper is important for every robot application. Therefore, we equip the robot in our simulation with a gripper. We import this tool in STEP format. In addition, a feeder is provided for this application. By using drag and drop, we pull components into our 2D layout. The position and rotation of imported CAD objects can be changed at any time on any feature and value in Object Layout. If components are not yet available at this early phase of the project, it is possible to produce three-dimensional substitute objects and arrange them according to the position of the proposed components. Size, location, name and colour of these objects can be easily adapted and customised. Now that the planned arrangement is ready, the necessary space and range of points can be taught. The robot can be moved directly to the desired position with the mouse. Alternatively, the user has the jog and teach window, which is similar to a handheld controller to move the manipulator. There, various methods can be selected. For example, traversing the axes individually or by using the Cartesian method in different coordinate systems. In addition, the current position can be read. In Layout Object menu, the programmed palettes can be shown or hidden. For an initial trial, the slanted palette is not modelled here, but only visualised with the help of this function. After just a few steps, we can run our program. The simulation advises the user immediately that the measuring instrument hinders the movement of the robot. We make the necessary adjustments. The collision detection gives users the opportunity during first feasibility trials or meetings to react to customer needs quickly and flexibly.
The simulator has the great advantage of being able to make robot-based adjustments in the design phase. The visualization shows optimization potential early on. Thus, by trial, it becomes clear that our task can be solved with a smaller robot. An Epson C3-A601S on a pedestal would provide the faster, more accurate and ultimately more economical solution. The time required by our robot for one cycle can now be determined. To what extent the choice and arrangement of the components influences the performance of the automated system can be evaluated transparently by the Epson simulator. In addition to movement programs and the necessary peripherals, the external communication of the control can be mapped. In this film, we use the example of the digital inputs and outputs of the controller to start and stop the program. The I.O. monitor allows us to switch inputs and outputs and to monitor their status during operation. The simulation results are now available. Further settings can be included in the simulation details. The simulated process and the generated code can later be imported directly into a real robot controller, which is then ready to run. Epson RC Plus also provides the opportunity to take pictures and videos for use in customer presentations. With the Epson Automation Solutions, consisting of manipulator, controller and a license-free software package, you get high performance all in one. The Epson Simulator makes an important contribution to planning and calculation. From impressive customer presentations to the rapid and flexible response to necessary plant modifications, you can try the risk-free virtual models for testing and training. Non-productive time can be reduced and substantial cost savings achieved. Have we caught your interest? Request a fully functional version of our RC Plus software. Contact us. Epson and our partners are at your service worldwide.